Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to explain you steps for installation of PostgreSQL on a Linux machine. At the moment, I don't have a Linux machine. I just have a Windows laptop. So I'll use this Windows laptop as a host. And on top of this, I will create a Linux machine as a client. And in order to do that, I will use Oracle VirtualBox. So let me brief you about all the things which we are going to do in this video. We are going to download and install Oracle VirtualBox. Then we will download Oracle Linux. Then we will create a virtual machine. We will install Putty. Then we will configure networking on uh, our virtual box. Then we will install PostgreSQL, create PostgreSQL cluster, then configure the profile file. And at the end, we will do some simple operations like connect, start, stop, and monitor logs for PostgreSQL database. So our first step is to download Oracle VirtualBox. And latest version of Oracle VirtualBox is 6.1.26. I'm going to install this on Windows machine. So I'll download this software. While it is being downloaded, let me give you a brief idea about PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL is an open source relational database. It is being developed and supported by a community. Indeed, a very strong community is behind this database. It's in very high demand. As you can see, it is the number one uh, in ranking for open source databases as of today. And it supports a lot of advanced features. Example, hot standby. And it is having an extension which support connection pooling. And there are a lot of extensions which support different kind of backups. So as we, we have downloaded Oracle VirtualBox, let's install this. It's fairly quick, a straightforward process. It will take around a minute. Okay, well, it's done. And it's opened automatically. So this is the interface. Once you install Oracle VirtualBox, it will looks like this. Let's go to preference. Okay. And I'd like to create all of my machines in this directory. You can choose your own directory. And next step is to download Oracle Linux. You go to oracle.com. And Oracle Linux is free to download. And installation ISO you can download from Oracle Linux here. And as you can see, there are different versions. I will use 7.7. .7. So I'll download this. As you can see, it will take around 15, 20 minutes. So let's have a break and we will be back. Okay guys, so we have Oracle Linux here and let's create a Linux virtual machine. So go to new and give it a name, PG 13 M1. We will install PostgreSQL 13 and it, this is the directory where machine will be created. And what is the type? It is going to be a Linux machine and how much memory we want to give, I will give 2 GB, 2048 MB, create. And in this step, we can define how much hard disk, what is the size of hard disk we want. I'll give it 50 GB, well, 50 GB is not needed, even 20 GB is more than enough for a simple machine. So let's create this. Even if you give it 50 GB, it is not going to allocate 50 GB at this stage. It is a dynamic, dynamically allocated file. So create. Okay, it's done. 
and let's check the settings settings storage id is empty so what i'm going to do here i'm going to give it i'm going to assign oracle linux 7 iso file to our id controller choose disk file and here is the iso and what else nothing so once we have assigned the iso we need to boot it Using the right control key, you can take your mouse control back. For example, now you don't see the mouse uh, cursor here because I clicked on the screen of our Linux machine. So if you want to take back the control, you need to press the you, you need to press the right control key. We will configure some initial steps. We will choose the packages and then we will let it install. So we are going to use English United States. Continue. Date time. I'm working from Sydney. Done. And what else? software selection you need to be a bit careful in selecting these softwares so we are not going with minimal install let us see what all the things i'm going to install here so we don't need file server identity management java performance tools we are not going to install postgresql database server because we will download the latest version and then we will do installation on our own. System administration tools, file printer. You can choose security tools and development, though these are not needed. Backup server we don't need. Virtualization we don't need. Yeah, we need a GUI interface and for that we will use kde and i think this is pretty much even we don't need these development tools and security tools so we can uncheck so let's have a walk through about our selection we are going to use kde for gui interface we can choose we, we can choose performance tools and system administration tools and i think that's enough for us so let it do a quick check okay so we have everything done at this stage let's click on oh we can configure host name also gg 13 m1 I think that's pretty much we can click on begin install and before it install we can create root password i'm not going to tell you my root password and we can create a separate user And as you can see, it is doing installation. It has uh, to install 1,624 packages. So let's take a quick break and we will be back once installation is done. Okay guys, so welcome back. Linux installation is done as you can see here. 
and it's asking to reboot the machine so let's do it so while it's rebooting let's see what all the things we have done so far first step was to download install oracle virtual box 6 then download oracle linux we did oracle linux 7 create virtual machine and while our machine is uh, oh, what it is asking okay it is asking to accept the license so let's do this and then finish configuration so in parallel what we can do we can download and install putty putty 64 bit you can go putty.org and i will download 64 bit for those who don't have any idea about putty it's a ssh client it allows you to connect to your linux machine from windows host it's a pretty small software just around 3 mb let's complete its installation and I don't want to read any file it's done so let us see what's going on our virtual machine okay it's restarted root okay so it's configuration is almost done and you're ready to go that's it so once installation is done once we have our linux machine let's stop this and next step is to configure networking so machine is down now let's uh, configure networking i'll configure two adapters bridge and net start i will use bridge uh, adapter to connect between host and client i mean to say from windows to my linux client machine and net for internet connectivity on client <clears throat> let's <see> start <clears throat> Meanwhile, we can find local IP. Cell phone. <clears throat> Root. Let's go to settings for a while. <clears throat> ENP 0S3, this one is the bridge. Let's configure it automatically. MAC address, that's fine. Okay, I'll give it a manual address. 192.168.1.110. It should be in the same subnet as our local IP. As you can see, my local IP is 192. 
1.104. So I'm uh, assigning a IP in the same subnet to my client machine. 555.0 and I'll use the same gateway. Apply, turn it on. And we don't need to do any anything there for our net configuration. We will go with the default settings. <clears throat> Automatic location. Apply and turn it on. So both of our adapters are on now. We can test connectivity. Okay, we are able to ping Google. So <clears throat> we are on internet. And let's test connectivity from our Windows host to Linux client 1.110. Okay, <clears throat> here also it's working. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go to putty 192.168.1.110. Okay, here also it's working. So everything is working fine so far. Let's complete the rest part. So next part is, so what we have done so far, we have completed this step. Next step is to install PostgreSQL. So we need to find the steps for PostgreSQL installation. You can go to postgresql.org. and go to downloads our operating system is linux and we are using oracle linux it's compatible with red hat for fine and here you need to choose the correct version correct platform and correct our correct architecture so i will install postgresql 13 and my platform is Oracle 7, and I'm going to install on 64-bit architecture. You can copy this script and paste somewhere <clears throat> because I'm using root, so I don't need sudo. You can, I can remove this part. So first part is to install the repository RPM. And what to put in install repository RPM. Okay, installation is done. Next step is to install Postgres server. Okay, <clears throat> so hey, it has installed all three RPMs there, packages there. And the next step is to create the PostgreSQL cluster. Let's do this. So let's create the service and start it. Let's enable the service and start it. Let's start PostgreSQL. And we can see PostgreSQL running there. So as you can see, there is a PostgreSQL master, postmaster process running there, and it is owned by Postgres user. So 
<clears throat> when we created the cluster, it automatically created the Postgres user also. So next step is to configure the profile file. For this, we need to configure path for our binaries. First, we need to go to Postgres user. VI dot bash underscore profile. PG data path is already set. We just need to set the PG home. Port path is equal to dollar PG home slash pin. Dollar path. That's it. And execute the profile file. Eco dollar PG home. Good. Which PC equal? Okay, so it's taking correct PC equal file. And now we can connect to Postgres PC equal. You can check the list of databases there. That's fine. So next step is to start is to open monitor logs. Open a duplicate putty session. Just need a tiny putty session here. This session is quite okay. <clears throat> Go to the log directory. There will be a PostgreSQL log file. We can put tail on it. Okay. Come out of PostgreSQL. From 10 now. Postgres is already running there. We need to stop it. So we use pgctl command to start stop and minus t. D is the path of PostgreSQL cluster, it is PG data. And stop minus M smart. So it's, what is smart? I will tell you later. It will stop it immediately. So as you can see in the log file, database system is shut down. Next step is to start this. How to start? Same command but a little bit different there pgctl minus t followed by the pg data and start so as you can see in the log file database system is ready to accept connections you can connect is equal check the list of databases there you can see postgres database template zero template one these all are the default databases so guys in this video we did a complete configuration of PostgreSQL cluster. It started from installation of Oracle VirtualBox, then created the virtual machine, Linux virtual machine, installed Putty, configured networking, installed PostgreSQL, and then created the PostgreSQL cluster, configured the profile file for Postgres user. And we tested the simple operations from the local machine, uh, like connectivity, start, stop, and monitoring logs. I hope this video will be useful for you. And guys, if you like my video, click on subscribe and click on like button. Thank you so much. I would like to see you in the next video with a little bit more advanced features there. Thank you.